Hello YouTube, Randomouse64 here with this new video on commands. What a command is, you might already know what a command is and just looking for some more information on them. Some of you probably have no clue what the heck I'm talking about right now. Uh, the simplest way to describe it is a command is like code almost. You can do stuff in the game that you normally would not be able to do. For example, you can make text appear on somebody's screen. Another good example is you can just summon any mob anywhere you want without using the type of spawn egg. I could spawn the wither right now without having to build the wither. Now, a lot of people are going to be asking, how do you use a command? Well, it's actually not that complicated. You press T to open up your chat, and then you press slash to open up the command menu. Now, if this does not pop up, that means you do not have cheats on, and or you're not opt, which means you don't have like owner permission in a sense, or as they call it, operator permission. There's a ton of stuff you can do. As I said, you can like make text appear on your screen. So I can just quickly go and type in title, slash title, at, yes. title, and then I could put whatever I want, I could put hi. Yeah, no, hi. Apparently not. Uh, some of the stuff works a bit different than how I'm used to, because I'm used to playing on PE, where some of the stuff is a bit more straightforward. But, one that I know I can use is slash give. This, as it says in the name, it will give you an item. So, I can give myself brass block. Boom. Or grass. Now I got some grass. Oh. Uh, now then there's one special block in particular that you normally know can't get unless you use slash. And that is a command block. Now, as it kind of says in the name, a command block lets you run commands inside of it. Now, it kind of seems a bit counterintuitive and a bit confusing at first. But you place it down, and then you right click on it like a chest, and then it opens up this menu. And this menu is just like your text box. You can go slash and then put any command you want in. So, for example, I could put slash give. Uh, key for the closest player and you know what, Acacia Door let's go with that <laughs> now I come over here I open up my inventory <laughs> I can grab a lever and when I flick the lever on, I get an acacia door. Now there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. Uh, I will explain a lot of the settings in here first. So, right here, this is to turn on or off your previous output. So you can actually see what it did last and at what time it did it. You can make it impulse, chain, which makes it blue, repeat, which makes it this purpley color, or impulse, look what I had it on. Impulse makes it so it activates once when you power it. Chain, you can't directly activate, you would need another command block behind it, so like the little top arrow thing has to go in to it. And when you power this command block, it would then power this command block next. 
and then repeat. Repeat, as it says, it just repeats the action of the a bunch. So, for example, if I hold this down for more seconds, I got ten doors. <laughs> Uh, now there's unconditional and conditional. This mainly goes for the chain command block. When it's unconditional, it doesn't matter if the command block behind it did its thing or not. So let's say this was this command block was to kill any item. Well, right now, if I did that, so if I go slash kill. At E type equals Minecraft item. Yeah. And because this is a chain, I can't directly power it, so I have to power this one first, then this one. So when I power this, as you see, it killed all the items. That has to be always active. Even though, see, now you saw. Ready? Okay. I'll drop this acacia door on the ground, and because it's an item, when I activate it, it'll kill the item and then give me a new acacia door. Now, if there's no item on the ground, it will still give me an acacia door. But if you change the the chain command block to conditional, and as you'll see, I'll change the top symbol here. This one has to do its job. See, because it says no entity was found, so that'd be invalid. This one has to do what it does, what it's assigned to do in order for this one to work. So if I just start flicking this, I'm not getting any more doors. But if I drop a door down. Door. I don't mean to do that. So that's what the conditional and unconditional do. Now, you, as you saw me flick earlier, there's always active and then needs redstone. Always active means it's always on, which you normally would want for a chain command block. And then need redstone means it needs redstone. The Always active on an impulse does not really do much. I mean, it makes it go off once, and then that's it. Like, then you can't do anything with it. It's, it's like a one-time use. Now, the one you always want to be careful with is always active on a repeat. I would never suggest doing this unless you know what you're doing. Because if I type into here slash kill at e and then i'll do the item again so type equals oh, item right and because it's always active and you repeat now it doesn't look like it's doing anything but if you see when i try to drop this as you see in the bottom left corner here down in this chat box says killed acacia door which means that it killed the acacia door now if i try to drop any item in the game as you see as you can see in the bottom left corner there it's just killing it and this can be good depending on what you're using it for but if you're not careful and you go like slash kill at e there's no way you can stop it and it will kill you always even if you're in creative So you have to watch out what you do with that. Now you might be asking, well, what is this type of stuff useful for? Well, as you saw here, I was kind of almost just like making it so I kept picking up this item over and over and over and I could not drop it. Because if I made this at, uh, if I made this a repeat, which still makes that work. And I grab myself an item, like this TNT, I drop it, it gives me a case short. Now, no matter what, it can press Q as fast as I want. 
but it's never gonna give me, or it's never gonna drop the item and not give it back to me. This can be good for, for example, when stuff I've, a couple stuff I've done is like some powers, where you drop an item and it will activate said power and then you'll get your item back. But it just, it makes it so that way you can never like drop and get rid of that item. This was random off 64 i hope you enjoyed like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye